So how did things work out with the uh, drum circle check? Well, I found our drain. Except here. Oh, and this is how she introduced me. She had then introduced me to the other guy, who was a kind of sort of yeah, yeah. Guy. yeah. And then he introduced me to the other dead girl. Um, dead the girl. other the other reaper that's okay. that's that that I ran, had a conversation with. I found but our the battery best part, What? Old style fan twelve volt rig. What the fuck does that mean? In other words, when someone turned this fan on earlier to ventilate the bathroom after taking a wee wee. Um, I forgot the term. Well, oh, thank you, Brian. I didn't know there was a fan in there. I only used it once to brush my teeth this morning. It's any after. It's Dean's phone numbers. It's Dean's email addresses. And uh, although we are 75 miles away, she said you could keep in touch. Cool. You have made a pet pal. Don't hate the player, hate the goddamn game. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you do with the Chico and the next one go over that made her pissed off? Which one? Our neighbor. Our lovely, snotty neighbor. What did I do? Just walk into the tent. What do you mean, walk into the tent? Remember when I was the, the lady with the blue shirt kept telling me to go ask this person for help and go ask that person for help? Yeah. I walked over to the tent because she was having problems and I wanted to see if I could help her out. So I walked into the tent and she gave me some new attitude and I touched the tent. Like you touched it like you bumped it? No. Ding! So she didn't want, oh, okay. So Dang. she didn't want you to touch it and you're like, eh. poke. Because the great big star shadow that's always sitting behind me all the time said, poke the sun bitch. Ding! Fries are done. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. You just need a poker tent. <laughs> I'm sure you want the poker tent. <laughs> <laughs> that, shit that shit would have been all wrinkly and I'd have to sit there and pry it back with a fucking pry bar and leave a seat You'd clean when you're But it would open. allow us to test the theory that she's a cougar. It would? Nah, I would have dealt with as, it. As Gary nearly pukes. <laughs> grave check. Grave check. Grave check. I kept stealing, I kept stealing, I kept stealing. And she finally asked her roommate, she was, do you want to buy some of these? Do you really like them? Do you want to buy some? Because I keep seeing you take them and, you know, you don't get, you don't... You don't tell me, you just take them. So do you really want to buy some? She's like, yeah, sure. And then we're traveling. And eventually she starts it. Hmm. I had a car audio business and started kind of like that. Uh... And I kept stealing people's stereos. Well, <laughs> you want to buy one? My, my oh, face God. was more like uh, one of the biggest assholes in the school. Came up to me and was like, Joe, you're in an electronics class. So like, yeah. Can you put in my car stereo? Yeah. I'm afraid I'm about to get my face pounded. Well, about three months later, I'm making a pretty stable income. By the next year, I'm paying my competition to take my customers. <laughs> How often does that happen? <laughs> Shit, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you come down and just do that. I don't want to get into that fucking dashboard. Now, there's only one small problem with, with the hotness. The hotness was a rape check. And what's bad about rape check? Because during the conversation she asked me if I would be willing to try ecstasy for her. Ah. They're in laser So that was like, strike out. You're fucked up enough. Swing out Please. Maybe you can pass as actually taking ecstasy without doing it. I'm morally obligated to point that out. What's up with people doing drugs? I mean, because they want to be able to enhance the experience that they're already trying to enjoy. So by enjoying, by going through a rave and enjoying the dance music and the lights and the camaraderie and the social network, they want to be able to enhance it. And they really want to, and they want to work and they want to rush. So they take that rush and they keep them going. And then everything melts. Because it shuts things off that you don't want to know. Meanwhile, your brain is frying. The ashtray starts break dancing across the table. Maybe it was a mistake to send William and Brandon. Oh well. Yeah. I was wondering why you sent William. Uh, because he knows my card information. Oh. And you don't. 
<laughs> also, I don't know. He wanted to socialize with Amber and Dave. Had to. Yeah, and that and William needed some quiet time, so. You're a little weird today, Gary. Yeah. Because I don't deal well with positive feelings. Okay. I don't deal well with Hey, I'm the same way with. Reiki, 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 I can't Reiki, Reiki, stand Reiki people. Reiki, 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 Reiki. <laughs> For that particular reason, but <laughs> just can't stand them. You know, next time we go vending and Gary's with us, I'm gonna send a Reiki person. My friend with the cowboy hat <laughs> has a Reiki alignment, and you'll be like, oh, you <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna start making little. You're gonna have a little bit of Reiki person over here, and a little bit of Reiki person over there, and a little bit of Reiki person in your pocket. Amber, yes, Amber. Do you remember this person? Here's our next arm year, pack. <laughs> you are next year. You are to make sure you get a booth between two Reiki people. Ew. That's okay. You're gonna talk. You? <laughs> you're gonna talk, Gary. You're gonna talk, Gary, into helping you. Ew. I don't want Reiki people. That would actually be bad for business. We probably ruin their business by our weird stuff. Okay, so we're just gonna ambush Gary with a Reiki. I figure it is strategic ambush, strategic kind ambush. of like organizing velociraptors. That might be a little bit hard. I figure we should do that to my brother. Where are we gonna get velociraptors? We'll engineer them. No. I mean, we can't even get this vehicle to move on this planet. Okay. <laughs> Is there? I can't necessarily be the person that's person. Yeah. So coming up. What? Yeah, we should ambush William with Reiki people. I want to see how this applies. We already know what happens whoa. with Gary. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, we just woke him up. <laughs> we just gave him a little nudge. Do you really want to send him over the edge? Yes, yes he does. Yeah. It's fun for him. He wants to see what will happen. It'll be like a terror meeting. You'll, you'll have lots and lots of pain. That's like that's It'll be like, good for you. That's like terrorism for brothers, man. Jeez. He likes to see what can happen. Okay, for William's 21st birthday. birthday, I've set $500 on the table and set up along to the first person that can break his nose. Fuck him. Send him, send him to a Ricky kid. Ricky <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Tell him it's rehab or something. That's it. The we fucked up thing is, is, this is what William and I consider love. <laughs> you know what the fucked up thing is? Somebody broke his nose? He actually <laughs> outran everybody that tried and dropped four people. <laughs> nice. Did I mention that's a tough little fuck? Nice. <laughs> well, he's your brother. He had nice. to be, otherwise he would have died. Sick or swim. <laughs> <laughs> we all are really surprised. Wait. The party has ended. Mm-hmm. 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 I just rocked it both. You know, I'm Start really surprised. The bus back and forth. I'm really Start surprised making. that my Cthulhu picture sold so quickly. Like, uh, come on, more rocking. Uh, more rocking. Uh, uh, <laughs> I will stab you with a spoon. Nice! Then I'll have Barry here suck your soul out. Your ass. Awesome! That's top post, right? No, Joe, it's bottom post. I thought it was with a shank post. Please tell me this is going to fit. It will fit. You said the biggest battery and the biggest one they had. So right there. Yeah. Uh, Actually, so no. This is the second biggest. Can I borrow your what? adjustable again? Or is that not accessible? What? Can I your pliers or whatever? Your testicles. Are they accessible or? Yeah. Awesome. Because by the time you gave them to me, I think I put. Awesome. Here, William. Thanks. Holy shit. This is a normal day for us, apparently. Well, at least for the vacation. 
or yeah. the road trip or just don't shock yourself. <laughs> I'm not taking you to the emergency room. What's the deal after nine o'clock? You're fucked. Fine oh, I love the zoom on this thing, seriously. From right here, if I can get it just right, I can actually do oh wait. It's, it's starting to. You just confused me with Brandon. <laughs> All right, Gary. Brandon. Sir. Hmm. They were under con uh, remodeling, remodeling, and they had no kind of monster drinks there at all. Oh well. Oh well. There, all the shelves were empty. They had Red Bull. That was yeah. It. And this Gary's gag reflex kicks in. Yeah. Thank you for your effort, sir. You're welcome. Hi, so William. I was going to stop at a gas station, but I haven't seen one, which is <laughs> nice to me. So what's the battle plan now, kitties? There's a gas station on the next and exit. see if it works. That's a good battle plan. Let's see if this thing works. Where should we move on after we get the battery installed? and? Back to the campground. It's closed now, though. We'll be able to get in. Yeah, get all of it. <laughs> We'll talk to them and tell them what happened and pray to God. Oh, yeah. Gods. <laughs> God. Let him listen. So, so he tells me I need to be sleeping tonight. And, or not to be dropped. Well, Why? Ask the gods and pray to pain in the ass. You know. <laughs> Whatever happens to work. There you go. I never thought of painting us as a god before. <laughs> yeah. Landon. It's a god. We are recording. Right now, we are supposed to be sitting at the fairgrounds with the recording, cool and I'm supposed to be finishing that off. I'm not talking to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And this is why Brandon needs to smoke. <laughs> and this is PC PP whatever. <laughs> PC PP. <laughs> Sounds good. PC PP. I got to have PC PP. We'll just stop at a gas station so I can use the restroom. I don't want to use that. <laughs> Since it kills that the battery. Closet is a, that what? closet is a scary place. <laughs> it's a bathroom. And a shower. It has a sink. It's a shower. It's <laughs> small. It's a shower, a sink, and toilet all in one. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit yeah. down, take your shower, and take a crap at the same time. Take your ass off. <laughs> I somehow come out brown. I don't know why, but I have this nice clean brown feeling. <laughs> Nice yeah. and occasionally I'll have corn in my elbows. Yeah. <laughs> Why the hell do you have the damn speed bump? <laughs> and this guy here pee apparently stand up and peed into the toilet. Yes, I stand up and peed into the toilet. Well, that's a bad idea for an RV. And, and an airplane. Uh, and a bus. Eh. And any other form of confined pseudo toilet environment. Whenever you're in an airplane. Woof. Shit. <laughs> Look at all my legs. Backsplash and everything. Yeah, you better pray don't come back up to your face. That's why it's good to be a girl sometimes. Damn scary. That's why they do not have bidets. The chick that's making me the corset is making it to where it's looped enough, like angled enough, to where you can take care of everything that you need to without somebody else needing to help. Uh -huh. I like that lady. She's really interesting. It's nice to know somebody actually still knows how to make corsets. I require them. Did you just make it for how much? Uh, for a couple of bookmarks. And that's what Brandon did with one of your hats. Where you got the, the Etsy necklace. And then she's making me a steampunk skirt for the elephant feather. Victory is on! You know, it really was a bad battery all along. <laughs> Speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> On the bottom of my heart.